This is Snapchat. This is Facebook. On Snapchat, it's called a lens. On Facebook, it's called a camera effect. But there's a... But there's actually a bigger difference than the names. On Snapchat, the only people who can create lenses either work for Snapchat or pay Snapchat a bunch of money to advertise on Snapchat. Facebook is gonna let outside developers create their own camera effects. At its FA conference this week, Facebook made a big ol' fuss about its vision for camera-based augmented reality. And we're going to make the camera the first mainstream augmented reality platform. Cool, but about that? Since Facebook's entering this race late, it's enlisting the help of outside developers and designers. It's got a new camera effects platform and a Mac app called AR Studio for folks to create these effects so that anyone on Facebook, and only on Facebook, can use them. Facebook's camera effects can range from super basic to more interactive. You can create camera effects that respond to people moving their hands, eyes, mouth, Likewise, making the camera effects can range from simple to super complex. To make a basic selfie mask, you can just sketch out a 2D image with holes for the eyes and mouth, upload it to AR Studio, toggle some settings, and bam, it's a 3D mask. If you want to go all pro, you can grab 3D objects produced in 3D Max or Maya and do pretty much the same. You can even lay them out as an environmental effect so that people can pan around to explore them. And now we're looking up, and if you try to pan to the left and the right, you're going to see all the constellations and things. If you're really going for it, you can write the code that controls the effects animation. With some lines of JavaScript, you can set the speed of pizza slices flying at people's faces, or you can program a constellation to animate when people pan it into view. You can even write code that calls data from outside sources, like how Tripit's effect pulls in people's flight info, or how Nike's effect overlays their run maps and stats.